I have games everywhere. I'm gonna try to show you them. Okay. Um, I'm not including things that I bought that I'm intending to resell. There's some stuff I got for cheap that I just know I can sell it. Uh, so I'm not gonna show you those because that's not exciting. That's, I'm not excited about those. I have a personal connection to these games. Okay, so this is what I bought in Japan. Um, let's see. Where's... Ah. Hi. Okay. I did get a boxed copy of Mono 3. Um, it's a little bent here and there, but it's pretty decent. I have Mother 1 and 2 complete in box as well. I don't really like these games or want to play these games, but I happened to come across them. I need a haircut so bad. Um, for decent prices, and so I have the whole set. I'm trying to decide whether or not I want to keep those. I do enjoy the Famicom mini series because uh, the boxes are great. So I have a Famicom. Mini Legend of Zelda. I have a complete inbox Jack Bros on Virtual Boy. Uh, this was only about $25 um, because of the box is a little torn up and it's like written on. Um, but still, that's like insane. To get that, um, I was on the lookout for Hammer and Harry on Game Boy and found it. Um, picked up for, I think, like a dollar or two what I thought was another Hammer and Harry game, but it's actually a quiz game starring him, so that's not going to be good. Uh, and was really surprised to find something on my list called Nubo from Iram, which apparently is pretty rare and expensive, and I found it for not expensive, and I'm excited about this game. Uh, I got this one-handed Super Famicom controller, uh, just because it seemed pretty neat. I'll have to see how that works out. Uh, speaking of Super Famicom, I have uh, Twin B Rainbow Bell Adventure, the platform game that I wanted. Uh, Final Fight Die, which is not as rare or worth as much as the American one, uh, but still cool. We have uh, Poppin' Twin B, Cute Em Up. We have uh, Muscle Bomber, which is also known as Saturday Night Slam Masters. We have uh, Hammer and Harry. And uh, Space Invaders. On the GameCube, Kururin Squash. Uh, this is something I was looking for. I'm glad I found it. I really like the Game Boy Advance game, Kuru 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 Ren. Uh, Donkey Konga. This was less than a dollar, and uh, I, hopefully the music selection will be better than the US version. This is a Japan exclusive Mr. Driller and Drill Land. Another Japan exclusive to the GameCube is uh, Robocop, which I found out came to America on Xbox. And apparently it's really bad. But we'll see how it goes. On the DX, I picked up Band Bros DX. Um, which is a like rhythm game slash music generator. And this awesome mini game collection game called Zetai Zetsume Dangerous Yusan DS or Grandpa Danger. It's a uh, real silly vulgar comedic mini games and it's awesome. Um, I was uh, several games short of a complete Famicom Pulse cart collection uh, and I found all but two. I couldn't find Tennis or the Go game. But I did get uh, Devil World, Donkey Kong Jr. Math, Donkey Kong Jr. Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong 3. Mahjong. And uh, Popeye Teaches English. 
aside from those. A few other Famicom cards. Uh, Hammer and Harry. This I just found out about the series recently, and so I picked up all the games because it, it's a lot of fun. Uh, got my own Kid Dracula. Uh, Joy Mech Fight is a 2D fighter by Nintendo. Uh, really late Famicom game. 1993. Uh, Ninja Turtles 2, which is our Ninja Turtles 3, the Manhattan Project. Uh, which the US one is harder to find. I don't have it, so I have this one. Uh, Don Doko Don. JJ, the sequel to 3D World Runner. Uh, Armadillo. And Splatterhouse. Uh, Where's the. Juan Paku Graffiti, which is like a cute SD version of Splatterhouse on Famicom. Do, 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 do. On the 3DS, I picked up Rhythm Thief R, because the American version is hard to find and expensive. And this was cheap, um, as well as a Taiko no Tatsujin game on 3DS. Um, I couldn't find an affordable 3DS console over there, so I'm hoping I can use my old 3DS and find a way to get around the region lock. Or wait until the Japanese 2DS comes out and hopefully import one for a decent price. Okay, also got uh, Dynamite Decca on Saturn. On the PS2 we have Battle Stadium Dawn, which is uh, like the Smash Bros of anime. You can be a fighting, fighting game, or you can be people from Dragon Ball or One Piece or Naruto. Uh, Space Invaders Anniversary Edition on PS2. Uh, Street Fighter Collection on Sega Saturn. This game, Dog of Bay, on PS2, I found for a dollar. You're like dog people that dance. I think it's a rhythm game, but I don't know how to play it. Uh, Bule Baku, Bule Baku, on PS2, which is a puzzle game where you have to lay dynamite in buildings to blow them up efficiently. Uh, really, really fun. All Star Pro Wrestling 2. Project Minerva. This game is called Zangeki no Dragon Live or Dynamic Slash. Uh, for the Wii, it's a Nintendo game where you fight big monsters. And Disaster Day of Crisis. This is the last stack. Heard me Hopperhead on PlayStation. Uh, Street Borders. This is not very good, but it was like a dollar. This is a great game called Tondemo Crisis, uh, where you're this little businessman trying to like leave work for the day, and it's all these mini games. Uh, Gale Racer on Sega Saturn. Have uh, Vampire Savior EX Edition. Dracula X Nocturne in the Moonlight, which is Symphony of the Night. Beat Mania, as well as Beat Mania Best Hits. Marvel Super Heroes and Puzzle Bobble 3 DX. Um, so those are what I got. I also got a PS2 and a Gold N64 and some other knickknacks. But those are like the games. Uh, now I just have to play all of them.